Welcome Virgo to your love reading for December 6th of 2018. So we're going to look into the beginning of the day for you and love. What's going on with you for Virgo? Beginning of the day. So um, when the Ace of Cups is coming out in reverse, that means that you might be disappointed with someone. Uh, just thinking about something that didn't work out, something that's not currently working out, being um, distracted, not being able to focus, not feeling all that playful. Uh, so there might be some um, regrets that you might have with you and someone else. So it could be tears or could be that you might be really intense with someone or something that you may have dealt with. Now, the uh, middle of the day for Virgo, what might you be going through? And then um, you're in your head. So when you're stressing, when you're crying, when you're, some of you might um, drink heavily. I'm not sure if you um, indulge in drugs heavily. Um, it just depends. But the Nine of Swords is coming out in the middle of the day as you might be up. You might not be getting the sleep that you need and deserve um, right now. So try to keep your mind clear. Uh, we have the, um, let's see, the Nine of Swords for Virgo in the middle of the day. So, yeah, you, you, you have two nines showing up. So that means that you're, even when you feel like you're worried about something, you're still alone about it. You're keeping those concerns to yourself. You might just be going through something really personal to you and um, not wanting to, in effect, that you might feel alone. You know, it just depends on love and pulling yourself away from somebody right now. You may have a lot of worries about that. Um, and let's see the end of the day for Virgo in love. And then you have the four swords. So it's, a, it's definitely a day of, of healing and trying to uh, reflect on your heart and even the things that you think about uh, yourself and what needs to maybe change with somebody that you may have been dealing with. Let's uh, look into the Ace of Cups in reverse though real quick. And then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, which is, um, I did mention, like, uh, that's, that's drinking, whatever it might be, but also holding so many emotions in that you would like to express, but you don't have an avenue to do it because the person that you would like to speak to, they may not be there. They could be holding back. You're not sure of how they might respond. Even if you have expressed certain things, they haven't responded or you haven't responded because you might not be ready. Um, it just depends there. Usually the Ace of Cups as well. Remember, that's the birth of a child. It's joy, love. They might be shut down. Um, sometimes it's the loss of a child, the loss of love, a loved one, love in general. So that might be an issue. So um, let's see. What might the person that you're dealing with or with um, be going through in the beginning of the day for Virgo? Yeah, they're not talking or communicating. All right. Whether it's telling the truth, being honest, telling you what they want, how they feel. You don't know because they're not talking to you. All right. Um, and let's see in the middle of the day for your partner or person that you're dealing with. And then they, it seems like they have, um, some of you, that person that you're dealing with, they could say in the middle of the day, they might just kind of get up and maybe want to come talk to you, but you might not be willing to because you want to be alone. It's like, leave me alone kind of thing. Others of you, it's like they, um, let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Um, they might be approached by another person. If you feel like you're not able to offer them any love or be around them and give them any attention, they might seek it elsewhere. Um, clarify the Knight of Cups for Virgo your partner yeah whoever it is might um say i get a thing where they um two things where some of you if you're approached by your partner or whoever you might be dealing with they might come around you might not feel like you want to be bothered because they, they feel the intensity that might be coming from you it could be a pisces scorpio cancer then you have leo showing up as well but i um i just feel that that's why that might be happening either because they're being rejected and somebody else might approach it doesn't mean that they're you know lovey-dovey with that person but they might just be being offered something like a message might come through something like that that's what i sense all right um and also family they might be around family too now the end of the day for virgo and love your partner the person that you might be dealing with for love interest and then we have the empress um i wonder if that person um married by the empress yeah they could be now the fact that they might be married or spoken to they could be busy taking care of a parent a parental figure um it just depends there they might be working on their own self-esteem self-love these things kind of nurturing themselves but uh aries came out as well that's the uh the fool that might be there but i feel when they're spoken for or when they're not ready there's not enough space for you two to come together they could be doing something else all right so i kind of see them kind of stepping away from the connection um let's see messages for virgo and love for december 6th 2018. 
passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's not what's coming through for the day. So it means that you have to try to find that, you know, find that passion in yourself, what you're passionate about. Um, who might you be passionate about? If the person that you're passionate about, they're not really feeling the passion for you, um, take breaks. Try to figure out why that might be, you know, focus on, you know, turning in your energy towards another direction i feel um until that person is ready to open up or come towards you or maybe as you turn your direction towards someone else that might be the area that you might be guided towards when you're feeling at your best so that's your reading for the day i hope the messages did help out tons of love lots of light to you tons of feeling vibes wish you the best and you can always go to psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you so have a good one